Howdy! Welcome to Faith of a Child Box videos, helping your family become saints together. Today we are going to be painting our St. Martin de Porres uh, paint doll. So this is my little example here. You see St. Martin and he has a broom because he is uh, known as the saint of the broom. So we're going to go ahead and get started. I am going to start with his hair as I generally do. Okay, so we're going to use our black for his hair, taking his side to be the back of his head. And I'm just going to start by outlining his hair. I'm going to find the middle of the top of his head, put a little mark there, then continue that line down the side of his head. And then on this side, we're going to do the same thing. Now I'm also going to draw a big circle on this side to tell me this is his hair side. Because I just want to do all of my black at the same time. And you can notice because he's a Dominican, uh, St. Martin has a black uh, cape, uh, for lack of a better <laughs> word, over uh, his cassock, his white one, his white cassock. And so we're going to draw his black cape. So we're going to turn around and I know because it does not have a little circle for his hair, this side is going to be his face. So I'm going to find the middle of his chin and just put a little mark oh, for myself. I have some paint to do that. Okay. Then I'm going to kind of pick a spot down here where I want his cape to end. So it's gonna be a little in front of his hair, maybe right straight down from his hair. And then I'm gonna make a curved line between the two dots. Then we're gonna do the same thing on the other side and pick our spot for the end of our cape and draw a curved line down this way. All right, so now I'm going to finish my outline. So the top of his cape is going to go across here and meet his hairline. And it's going to go the other direction as well and meet his hairline. Okay, so now if we turn back to the side where we know his hair is, because we put our black circle here, I'm going to draw some lines down here to say all of this is going to be painted black. So we're going to paint all of his hair on this side and all of this on this side black. So let's go ahead and do that and that's probably going to take you a few minutes so you might need to pause the video but let's go ahead and get started. Okay, now we have painted our all of the black for the back of his hair and the cape. And so we're going to clean off our black, paint off our paintbrush here. Okay, I'm going to pause and go get some fresh water really fast and you might want to do the same. Okay, so now I can, now I've gotten my uh, fresh water, my, my paintbrush is mostly clean there. Sometimes you do have to Freshen up your water there. So, since I did the hair on St. Martin 
first this part the black part around his face seems to be pretty dry so we're going to go ahead and paint the skin of his face okay and now we're going to use this nice brown color that nicely carefully outline around the edges and then just paint his whole face in Okay, now I've got his whole face painted in. I don't know if you could see, but at some spots here, I kind of let it dry and put another layer over it. Um, my brown is kind of watery for some reason, and so putting another layer over it, we'll show you on this guy here, kind of just gets it a darker, deeper color. And I do want to make sure we get him uh, more of his, what we imagine his skin tone to be, because we want to honor his his heritage. So if you, yours came out kind of watery and not um, a nice dark color, you can put another um, layer of brown on top once it dries and that will get you a neater, uh, kind of deeper brown color. You can see how that worked on that one. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. You can, you can pause and um, put a second layer on his face if you feel like that's what you want yours to look like. Okay, and we're gonna do the white for his uh, cassock here. I believe that's the correct term. And we are just gonna outline it along the black. And then I'm also going to paint the bottom of his, of the pig doll white. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish that up. All right, now we have all filled in and painted and hopefully your face and skin up there is dry. We're gonna go back up there and we are going to do the blacks of his eyes and his smile. I'm gonna use my back of the paintbrush trick. We're gonna take the back of your paintbrush, stick it in, find where you want your eye dot it, and then just use the back of your paintbrush to make it a slightly larger circle. And do it again. And you have the blacks of his eyes. Ta -da. Okay. And we're going to do his mouth and smile. And just very tip of your paintbrush and make the curve. And actually the smile is also something that um, you can go back over once it's dry to make it a um, more prominent red you can see it a little better. And you're gonna see, let's see, yes, my white is dry. The next step, you're gonna need your white paint to be dry. So if you need to stop and pause while it dries, then go ahead and do that. And mine is dry. And we're gonna be painting his broom. So we're gonna use our brown paint. Whoa, come back here. And we are going to start up here 
on his cape. And then pick a spot over here, leaving a little space for the bottom of the room. Just draw a straight line across his front. I do not know why this brown paint is so watery. And so I might go back once this is dry and kind of darken up the broom also. Okay, once you've that, done that, you are going to make a curve going one direction and a curve going the other direction down to the bottom. Okay, and that's his broom. And so once you fill that in, I want it dry there. Let's see, I think the blacks of my eyes are done, so I'm gonna move up and do the whites of his eyes. Here. And I'm just gonna take the end of my paintbrush and put a tiny little bit of white here. Put a little dot. And I'm gonna get more because you wanna make sure you have paint to make the dot or you won't, you'll just get a mess. There we go. So there are the whites of his eyes. I'm gonna blow on this guy to see if I can get him to dry. I already think my broom is pretty dry now, so I'm gonna go back and put another layer of brown on it here, see if I can make it a little bit darker. Right in this one spot doesn't want to get darker. And the rest of it seems to be working pretty well. Alright, and you can see on this St. Martin example I did, I gave the broom a little bit of texture. Um, so it was a little more, I think, obvious what um, what it's supposed to be. And so I just did that by using this tan color over here. And I'm just kind of putting some lines, straight lines down. Kind of make it more broom-like. Kind of show the straw of the broom. And that is our St. Martin de Porre Big Doll. So if you have any questions uh, about that, you can reach out to me and I will be happy to answer you. We'll see you next time.